a simple little bag Very minimal brand Yeah Get it in all the red or black A little steep on the price tag Yeah Damn girl, you stretchy on the outside. outside I like that One water bottle each side each Little zipper pocket on the top Nipple clips Make the shit pop Pretty solid material Sponsored by cereal Roll top expansion Eight gallons imperial Uh, few weeks left on the deal It's the shell from Tropic Field What's up y'all? Let's uh Let's get a little organized here Hey, how's it going? I'm Chase Reeves. This is the shell from Tropic Feel, a very interesting bag for me. Expansion, you know, simple roll top on one hand. We also have a little expansion down here. Perfect for shoes, gonna show you that. I'll tell you, the, the materials are actually quite nice. Like you feel them, they feel good. There's a couple little hangups I have about some of the design, but all, by and large, it's actually designed quite well. And it has a little internal sh closet thing. Now, I actually just traveled with this thing. Fits under the seat in front of you quite nicely. Uh, this is a huge, a huge deal with travel. I haven't unpacked this since I went traveling with it, which means uh, my hat's somewhere in here. I'm not ashamed of my manly mane, but I do want to protect the uh, lady folk out there from unsavory desires. Let me show you this back panel while I have it here. Quite nice meshes and, and padding in here. This all feels actually really solid. Like, I was, I was uh, enthused. I was maybe surprised as well. The padding on these, it's a thicker kind of square. They went for an edgeless kind of construction, but I will say that it is, uh, it's, it's stiff in a good way. For me, I like a stiff strap. Why? I like to lock myself in, okay? I cinch it nice and tight, and this thing moves pretty good with you because it's not that big, okay? This is a massive thing that I was saying before, a massive insight on travel. When your bag can fit under the seat in front of you. I've got room to grow because I can expand here if I pick up an extra pair of pants when I go somewhere. We can expand. I can pull out this little bottom thing that has G hooks that connect and it's not a perfect uh, fit in terms of like you don't want to stuff clothes into here. It's really for larger items, okay? You can see our G hooks here that hold that on pretty, pretty solid. But again, you're going to want to put shoes in here, maybe a medium small size packing cube, something that's not gonna flop out. Once you have some stuff in there, it doesn't tend to come out, you know? It's like pretty interesting little jig for adding a few liters to your bag while you're traveling. And surprisingly well executed too. They did a good job. I mean, Tropic Feel, they, they have one other bag. They've been making lots of shoes and shorts and things like that. Check out their product line. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're interesting stuff. This bag, I'm learning, they've got some good soft goods designers over there. I have been enthused with a lot of the details, right? This little minimal branding, this, the sort of thickness of this paddle here, the, the specific clips that they're using here. Perfect little uh, resistance for this, okay? Now, I normally don't like bags with the double clicks. Personally, it's like one more click than I need. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, why am I doing two of these? A little over eight gallons Imperial, as the song in the beginning said, which I learned about Imperial gallons because my wife's Canadian. And that's how they do like price per Imperial gallon in gas in Canada. Am I remembering that correctly? Anyways, 40 liters, all right? I think 40 liters is, is like this whole thing maybe with that expandable thing. And then, you know, you just fiddle it back down to, to around 20, 22 liters. As a daily carry, it it looks fine. That's one of the, the benefits of this thing. Is it doesn't look like a big beefy travel bag when you're in daily carry mode. Should I unpack this really quick? Before I unpack it, we've got a zipper on the top for your quick access. I typically don't like these because it's flat, but I haven't noticed any problems with this actually. Pull some of my stuff out here. Pro tip, travel with like a nice like leather and white face watch if you have to you know put on a polo shirt and try to look professional somewhere 
this watch plus some uh, woolen prints button up shirts. Ooh, I was wearing this blue like linen one. I will link to that below at this time code. Shout out to Woolen Prints for making epic, little bit expensive sh button up shirts that if they fit you well, they end up feeling real good. I like it. I like a lot. Like I like the way it drapes. Let's get back into this. The only point on this I'm trying to say is that I thought it wasn't going to be that good. Ends up being good. Ends up being surprising. Nice zipper pull. And then a water sealed like little look and a feel right here that ends up being a little nicer than it needed to be. So again, some little details that are well executed like end up in this thing looking and feeling kind of nice. I end up being more interested in how does it feel, sound, touch, right, that kind of stuff, and then perform in the elements with some water, dirt, if you're, you know, at some park where there's some grass and maybe a little bit of mud. This on the bottom has not the Hypalon or the seal, this is not Hypalon, but this is like a, a, a coating on top of probably the same material here. They didn't go with that coating down here, maybe for smart reasons, I don't know. But this is like, you know, super sealed up. I don't know if this is gonna scar and, you know, and wear down over time. This kind of stuff is known to do that occasionally. But this is like a little dry to the touch, but pretty solid. And then the thickness of this, uh, of this beaver paddle here is thicker than, it's like good work, good, actually good work. If this was too thin feeling, even though for the structure and the um, longevity of the bag, you don't necessarily need it to be thicker all that much, it feels good that it's thick because the way that this material bunches up, oftentimes you're gonna get these wings out like this and that, that can feel a little annoying so you, you push that in a little bit. Anyways, because the material has a little heft to it, it ends up working well. You just kind of have a little bit of a finger, finger push in lunch sack kind of fold. I feel like aesthetically, don't you think it looks kind of cute? Looks kind of cute. Solid little guy, these water bottle pockets. I think you'd struggle to get a Nalgene in here. Bigger water bottle than this is my 750 milliliter Camelback shoot. I will link to it below. If you use my affiliate link, I'll make it like three, sometimes five cents. You got one of those on either side, okay? One on each side. Stretchy, feels like the stretch is gonna last a little while, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gives out at some point. At that, at that time, it, uh, it's still kind of deep. So you might be able to, to still work it without the stretchiness. Like I said, little zip up top. There's also a little zip back here. Little tiny flat zip. It's like a, like a almost like a hidden passport pocket, except for the fact that there is an actual hidden passport pocket right back here behind this uh, way too elastic-y luggage thing. Like if you put it on your luggage rack and it just falls forward because like, I've got a little strap. That's probably, that's probably not the best way to do it. Little zip back here, perfect size for your passport. It actually goes all the way across there. Uh, you can kind of put your passport in there and forget about it. Okay, final bits here before I go inside. Little handles on the side here on the left and here up top. These are mostly for hanging and just grabbing. You won't wanna hold it by this for a long time. You're gonna hold it by the strap, which by the way, has load lifters that do a little bit of, a little bit of help. They sometimes, they, they sometimes come undone a little bit, but you know, every, like a bag like this, sometimes you don't need that kind of thing. Every little helps. I mean it on the back panel, better than I thought it was gonna be, and some of you are not gonna like how stiff the padding is. It is not too stiff in my book. However, I know some of you like really cushy, soft things. Uh, the back here is cushy and soft. This is pretty robust. I personally like it. I think a lot of you will too. So we have the clips here to get into the main compartment. There's also this laptop guy in the back. Now, this can make it kinda awkward to, like when you're getting into the bed, it's like kinda moofy. There's not a lot of support and structure up here. That's part, that's a feature, not a bug, because that's what makes it look kinda low key when it's in, uh, 
daily carry mode, right? However, when you're like trying to get something on the inside, you don't wanna, you don't wanna open this up a little bit. You don't wanna open it like this out in the world. This is for loading and unloading because it can be a little awkward loading it up and unloading it when you're out, like at the airport or something like that. I would recommend, as always with something like this, I just keep my zippers right at the top. I can reach in and grab my laptop right there without having to open it up all the way, right? Nice. Now, this, by the way, is a shirt jacket from Western Rise. It's this same kind of material as their Airloft jacket. This one, this bigger one, but this is thicker. This is thinner. Uh, overall, I, kinda, I really dig it. Overall, it's pretty nice for when you need a minimal closet, kind of like does a lot of things, sort of shirt jacket with some insulation and pockets for my hands. Great to work, a Western Rise. On the laptop beaver tail thing, we've got two little bit meshy pockets right here. This is like pens, something like that. This is like notebook, something like that, maybe a little battery. And then I'm, you know, the, the laptop compartment is fine. It basically goes all the way down, but there's material rolled up underneath there from the outside. It's a little bit thicker material, so fairly padded. This itself is quite thick and nice. Velcro over the top, which I, I don't like things like this. I always take that and I leave it rolled down inside of there so I can always just reach in and grab it. I don't have to like unzip it, uh, un Velcro, and then, you know, and then grab it. My 16 inch MacBook Pro fits in here perfectly. I would, I would suspect that you can't fit much, much bigger than that. Nice laptop pocket. Okay, soft shell. You end up, you end up putting it like this, trying to keep that, uh, that posture or that structure up a little bit when you're packing it. Now, here is their, uh, here's their like accordion, like something, something. Undo these little cinches, and then you can, da da da. So meant to be like a organizer closet thing. You hang this by a few different mechanisms, potentially a little G hook on the top. You can wrap it around something. Big open thing here. These guys have a zip and a divider on this side and that side, two equal size. And then down here, a bunch of little organizers. All of this is more hassle than it's worth, in my humble opinion. It's kind of nice when you're living on the road and you can blah, 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 blah. That's the, the dream of that is quite nice. However, in my experience, this is pretty bulky, adds a lot to your pack that uh, potentially uh, like a packing cube would, would, like just one packing cube would, would take up much less space and, and, and have less weight as well. The one added benefit of this thing, besides the fact that if you wanna hang up your clothes and have all of this, by the way, I didn't use any of these because it's too much of a hassle to like fold and roll and get everything. If I, if I was a lady and I had little like panties I was shoving in here, maybe, but I got big beefy dude undies, <laughs> you know? We call them chonies, fudgies. I wasn't gonna like roll up my stuff individually and do it all a different way, so this was worthless. These two, I wish that this whole thing was just all open right here. That's, that would be best. All open all of these open and then maybe some kind of like zip, zip close like thing because stuff does fall out of here quite easily when you're cinching it up. The one added benefit besides the being a, like a closet thing is when you put it in your bag, it can offer, a it can create quite a bit of stability at the bottom of the bag, a big strong, cause these, these are really solid construction. You can see here the G hook that is uh, nice and easy to move and use and cinch down and a little handle that's quite nice. So it is kind of nice to cinch it up, get it nice and tight and use it as a thing on the bottom of the bag that helps it basically be a platform so you could stand the bag up. This is the way I packed it. It stood up perfectly the whole time. They also make a little camera cube that you could do the same thing with. Has a nice uh, square vibe to it. Sometimes you find just the perfect size thing for your rig, this would be pretty good. A little bit bigger than I probably needed it to be, but decent enough protection for this to work for my, my rig. So 
that could also be something you put at the bottom to give it a little structure. Now, inside my bag here, I have three things just sort of ro roaming around in here. I've got my RAV power charger, two USB-Cs, nice high power charger. I'll link to that below. Links will there will support the channel. Then I have my main tech kit, which is from Boundary Supply. This is, uh, I did a whole walkthrough of this on Patreon for my patrons of what I carry in here. This is like my live and die by case. Then uh, a little pouch from, this is also Boundary Supply, where I, this is my, this was my snacks and immunity boosters thing, right? You got the vitamin D, you got the wellness formula and the zinc with some bars and things like that. So this was useful. Pull that right out of the top of the bag and fish this out blind. That's why I like pouches, because I can go in blind and feel around, and these two have a very different feel to them. I will link to them and everything else that I mentioned below. By the way, this front uh, nipple clip feature for me is, uh, is a little bit funky. It's kind of interesting. They make a toiletry kit and a tech pouch that have these attachments, so you can just pop it right on there. This is an interesting-ish idea. However, I wish they would have gone away from this and, and simply built in some 3D pocket right here. Big old like Jansport style classic. Make this look like just a regular ass classic bag. You've got some expansion at the bottom, basic roll top, solid back padding. There's a little bit of a hip strap that comes out of here, by the way. I never needed to use it, but some of you, that's going to feel good. You've got enough, enough like stiffness in here, especially when your laptop's on it, for that kind of hip strap to do something beneficial. So, all in all, pretty damn solid. When I first got this thing, I was like kind of unenthused by it because these materials, same thing that the, uh, the, the camera cube is made out of, and this just felt a little dry, a little eh, and then it was these materials back here that was like, huh. That's quite nice. And then it was using it and realizing like, this is a damn solid option for a bag that expands and has a little bit extra expansion. This is epic, the, the expansion down here for shoes. Any of you who travel with shoes, that's awesome. Keep your shoes off of your inside of your bag. Like it's actually pretty, I mean, they're a shoe company, so it makes sense that they thought of it. The big insight here is traveling with this under the seat in front of you. Both flights that I was on, there were people getting their roller bags tagged because there wasn't enough room on the overhead. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you guys, why are we still traveling with roller bags? I get it if you're moving across the country or if you're staying for two weeks or three weeks or nine weeks or whatever. But I'll be honest, I don't need something bigger than this. I do when I'm traveling with my all my film set up and stuff like that so but when I'm just traveling like I was recently with my son to go see a potential town to move to uh yeah we travel during the coronavirus we're hale healthy and strong we wear our masks I actually <laughs> I actually wore two masks not because just I have a friend you're welcome Jay the tropic feel shell very simple good looking bag to me I like this kind of utility and simplicity I personally don't love that how I carry it. This front pocket isn't very useful and uh, these little nipple clippy things. But other than that, it ends up feeling nice and clean, perfect size. And you may love the little like easy to take off sort of thing about that. I bet pickpockets would love that too. Listen, this episode is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is a grain-free cereal that tastes like kids' cereal, but it's actually for adults. Cereal for me when I was a kid, it was like my favorite thing. It was in the morning, it was cereal and a little bit of Diet Coke. Don't ever drink Diet Coke. Here's my review of this bag. I wish that it was just easy to go right across the top. We gotta be a little careful, go down and over. All things considered, that's one of my best openings of a cereal in my entire life, okay? This is the brand new Peanut butter flavor, zero grams of sugar, four grams net carbs, 14 grams of protein per serving. These things are made out of actual, ooh, yum. Like a Reese's Pieces kind of, take, take a bite. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's like a Reese's penis, like. <laughs> 
It's high protein, wheat free, grain free, soy free, everything free, but it costs a little bit of dollars to get to your door. It comes in a box. Now, these things are made from like milk proteins, so that's why it's like grain free, wheat free, soy free, all those things free. So you can put together your own box of Magic Spoon. It will magically appear at your home. Check out the link in the description below for instructions on how to get a potential discount. Thank you for Magic Spoon. Honestly, peanut butter. Woo, thank you. I love me some Magic Spoon. So grateful that they support me and the channel. Okay, that's it. You know, I like this time traveling, it just went to show again how I was traveling with my son and I was teaching, I was looking, I was like, hey man, look at all the bags that people are, are carrying. Look at how every one of them has to tag their bags on their way in. So the last thing you wanna be doing when your flight's delayed because it's some crazy storm in the Southeast and and like, oh, I'm gonna do that. And I had one lady, <laughs> one lady and, and her husband and I was listening to this lady just go and go and go and I was like, kind of made eye contact with the guy at some point point. I was like, hmm. He's like, bro, I've been with this for a real long time. <laughs> you don't need that kind of stress in your life is all I'm saying. Traveling with one bag, getting used to a little bit more of a minimal carry, it goes a long way. Speaking of which, Travel Light is the name of my podcast. Have you heard it? Do you not know? Have you not heard? Hark, verily I say unto thee. It's a good show. I uh, got some episodes out right now. One of them with New York Times bestselling author James Clear on habits, on fit, you know, he wrote a book called Atomic Habits, solid stuff. One with my wife on traveling minimally, how we've lived on the road for the last three plus years. So uh, you might really dig that. Holler at your boy, leave us a review if you dig it. It helps us in the iTunes algorithm. Okay, subscribe here. We are just about to pass 100,000 subscribers. We actually might be past, we were just getting so close. I don't know when this video is gonna air. So subscribe here and uh, at matterful.co. That's where you're gonna find my list of the best hybrid travel bags like this. The best one bag travel bags, the kind of thing where you just take it as a backpack and they're not checking it from you at the door because it's not so big and, and oftentimes they just let backpacks go by. You know, they're getting smarter about that. But get on the email list at matterful.co because that's where we do the giveaway. We're hoping to give away tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear. We shall see. Love you. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. <laughs>